I want to, uh, again, uh, for those of you that were not here yesterday or weren't watching yesterday, acknowledge the planning committee who were so actively involved in, um, in organizing and conceptualizing this meeting. Um, Ambassador John Lang was co-chair. I had the pleasure of co-chairing with him and other colleagues, Dina Buford, uh, Jennifer Esposito, Renuka Gade, Trevor Gunn, Amy Lynn, Scott Ratson, Kathy Taylor, and Chris West. We thank you again for um, a terrific day yesterday and what we what promises to be a wonderful day today. Um, again, a couple of housekeeping items. Um, this is going to be live webcast, so we ask all of you, um, we're welcoming that audience uh, to join us and also ask all of you as you begin to speak to please introduce yourselves. Um, for the record, uh, be, uh, this uh, today is set up as a, very much a conversation on the podium as well as a conversation with the audience. So it'll be a good bit of time for, for give and take, and um, we'd like uh, forum members to uh, put their name uh, tags vertical if you want to speak in the conversation period. And similarly, those of you in the audience, there is a standing microphone. We welcome you to come forward, uh, introduce yourself, and ask questions um, during, the, uh, during the sessions. Um, the workshop is on the record and a peer-reviewed uh, report of the proceedings will be published by the National Counties Press in the coming months. So um, welcome again. Um, yesterday we really talked about um, some of the premises of our discussion, the broad determinants of health, the importance of uh, country-led interventions and increasingly I think the needing for platforms that help people come together and begin to talk with each other and think about um, planning how to best manage um, the transitions in funding which are uh, looming in many areas for many countries. Um, we talked about the risks and opportunities in those transitions and heard directly from multilateral donors, their thinking, their plans, their uh, responsibilities as well as bilateral donors. Um, we had a conversation about the issue of research fairness and the power symmetries in partnerships and some of the issues that might be looked at to think about how some of those um, sort of ethical dimensions and fairness dimensions that are um, increasingly active in the research uh, space, research collaboration space might be adapted to um, some of the other kinds of contracts and agreements that we uh, may wish to think about. And then I uh, ended the day hearing from representatives of uh, the three, re three regions in the South um, to talk about country environments, how these transitions are affecting them and how individual countries and in the case of Latin America and the Caribbean regions are um, stepping forward to problem solve um, through these transitions and developing mechanisms to support countries in them. Um, so today is really about solutions, um, thinking about uh, not only the sort of broader uh, solutions for um, engaging, going forward, engaging uh, the, pub the private sector more in the uh, multilateral donor space, as well as thinking about health and making it more visible as an element of economic uh, and social development policy in countries. Um, and then some examples from members of our forum uh, on efforts that their companies are making to um, engage in public-private partnerships to help um, countries manage their transitions more smoothly. And then we'll wrap up our takeaways at the end. So we're delighted to welcome all of you. And um, before we begin the day, I do want to call out um, the co-chair of the uh, forum, Clarion Johnson, who's the formal global medical director of ExxonMobil. And I had the pleasure of writing over this morning with one of his colleagues in the Uber taxi, and she said to me, you know, Clarion knows all this stuff. He ought to be on stage. So I wanted to put him on the spot so that anybody who wants to bring Clarion up during the course of the day should feel free to do so. He is not here as an anonymous participant. So thank you very much, and over to Ambassador Lang.